and welcome back. And we have another uh, visitor, a uh, local business person. And can you tell us your name and what your business is about? Certainly. David Michael Kenny with Dignity Memorial. I'm a community service counselor for Ted Mayer Funeral Home and Charles Carroll Funeral Home. And I specifically do advanced funeral planning. And where can people get in touch with you? You have a phone number that our viewing audience, if they need your services or would like to find out, can call you? Yep, certainly. You can call at the Ted Mayer Funeral Home at 805-643-9977. And we're also available on the web at tedmayerfuneralhome.com. And your email address for those people that would like to get you electronically? Electronically would be David dot Kenny K E N N E Y at S C I dash U S dot com. And I, I know it's a topic that most people don't like to face, you know, but the preparation for the future is probably, you know, as as we're getting an older generation, uh, what would you recommend to some of what we're going to call our baby boomers now? Should they be waiting or should they be trying to find out something about your services? Well, the way I like to look at it is, and I'm sure you'll agree with me, knowledge is power. Yes. Right? Mortality is inevitable. Mm -hmm. So why wait until someone passes away and then learn all the details, all the paperwork, and the costs involved? To get the knowledge up front is going to put you in a better position to make clear-minded decisions. When someone dies and then you're trying to make decisions, you're emotionally distressed, mm -hmm. you're going to have all kinds of uh, ac uh, just difficult accessing I information that has to be detailed that goes on a death certificate, knowing where the family came from, knowing the names of grandparents, all these details can be taken care of in advance and put on file. So then you have what I feel is the most important thing, the ability to focus on the celebration of that person's life and the emotions that you're feeling, whether you're bereaved or sad. A lot of people, as I observe as a counselor, will focus on the details and put their emotions on hold. Very, and, yeah. very, very well put. Yeah. And how long have you been doing it personally yourself? I've been involved with it almost two years now. Okay. I. I made a career change and a career choice to do this because uh, I'm also a, a member of Rotary. I'm a Rotarian. I believe in community service. And what I do is go out and get the message out there. You were asking, how do you bring up this topic that people don't want to talk about? Well, I take that 850-pound gorilla in the corner and bring him out, and he's wearing a T-shirt that says mortality. And we start that conversation. Wonderful. Is there anything, David, that I have not asked you or you have not been able to tell our viewing audience before we end this, this interview? Well, a lot of people are very cost conscious. And by doing an advanced plan and setting it up and funding it, you guarantee today's cost at today's price. So that on average, funeral costs go up about 8% per year. So this is going to be an advantage to your loved ones in the long run because it's going to be prepaid. And also, all those details, those decisions are going to be made and people are not going to be left to question, do they really want this or did they really want that? And celebrating life is important. Behind us is uh, the pier at Ventura. Well, this past Wednesday, celebrating a life was the scattering of ashes from an airplane flying by. All the loved ones were at the end of the pier minister had words to say, family members had words to say, the plane flew by with rose petals, then scattering the ashes of the loved one, and then another flyby of rose petals, and a celebration of life was had right here on Ventura wow. Pier. So bringing some good, good, good life to our own community. Mm -hmm. David, I want to thank you so much for coming to our, uh, down today and uh, letting us do this interview, and we wish you the best of luck in your business. Great, and thank you so much for your efforts and what you're doing. I think it's a wonderful thing for the community. Well, we certainly appreciate it. We always take nice words. And we'll be right back.